Hi, I'm Ken Lewis with Tomasi Studios, and in this tutorial you will learn how to transfer the morphs from a prop from almost any kind of animation program into iClone. Make sure to like and subscribe, because when you do, I make this sound. Hee <laughs> hee! I'm using Daz 3D for this, but as long as you have 3D Exchange, this method will work with almost any program. If you don't have 3D Exchange, you really should get it, because it just opens up an entire world of props, characters, sets, etc. I'm going with the Twi'lek Luku, or alien head tentacles for the non-super nerds out there. I chose them because the changes that are made are extremely obvious visually, and for a how-to video, a person should really use a more complex prop than what a viewer is likely to be using rather than a simpler one. So to keep things simple, whatever pose that prop is in when you first upload it, I consider that the default pose. Everything that I'm going to do after this is going to be a variation of this morph. So from here I just make sure the prop is selected Go over to export. I prefer the FBX format just because in the end the props just look a lot better. I'm calling it Talon Leku Default. Now I actually need to pose the prop and I need to make sure that that pose is as far as I want the prop to actually go in this particular direction. Because whatever you do right here that's going to be considered 100% on the morph you're going to create in iClone. So in this case, I want it to actually just curl up backwards and then export the same way. And I will label it Liku Left Curl Backwards. Always make sure to clearly mark all of your files. And in the case of this morph, there are two tentacles and a total of four different directions I need it to go. So a total of eight morphs need to be applied but the process is exactly the same no matter what you do, so I only need to show you good people once. So the first thing to do is load the prop in the default pose. This gives iClone a point of reference to work with. And then come down to the animation tab and click on import and find your morph. This goes back to the make sure that your morph is in a place that's easy to find that I keep pushing forever. Then go up to your tool menu up here and push export as an OBJ. And even though the prop is in an FBX format, which I've already said is a higher quality format for iClone, the morph itself needs to be exported in an OBJ format, but for some reason the two things work perfectly fine. When you get to this menu, make sure to clearly label your morph. It will not do it for you automatically and make sure to decide which file the morph is actually going to. Every time I set up a prop like this, I always make an individual file for those morphs to go into just to make them easy to find. Make sure to check the box, remove hidden mesh, and click OK. Then just click up here and start a new file, and then reload the prop in its default pose. Then go up to your top menu here and click on Apply to iClone. So here we are back in iClone, our final destination. With the prop selected, go to the Modify tab and then to the Animation menu, this little stick figure running guy thing, and then Morph Creator. Once Morph Creator is uh, loaded and set up, click on this uh, little plus sign. Find the file with the morph you just made. And in this case, I have multiple morphs to play with, and what's really great and fun for me, anyway, is that they can totally be combined. They actually work pretty well with each other. Just this whole concept just opens up so many different possibilities with props. And once all the morphs are loaded properly, and you have these nice little slide menus, click on Send Slash Replace to iClone. Now back in iClone, go to Morph animator on the, under the animation menu. In some cases, not always, you'll end up with two of the same prop, just delete one. 
and there are your morph options ready to go and yes they can be applied in a timeline so they can actually be moved in one con long continuous shot and that's how you do this our journey has come to an end for the day I hope this uh, helps you out with whatever project you're working on. If you have any questions, comments, or just straight up abuse, hey, that's what the comment section is for. Good luck, and thanks for watching. <laughs>